Good day mga kaprisma! Today, I will show you how to use the different EMT fittings. Let's start with EMT couplings. EMT couplings are used to connect two EMT pipes. Generally, there are two types of this and this is the same across all brands. One is the compression type and the other one is the set screw type. So, umpisaan po natin subukan sa set screw type. Let's say we have here two EMT pipes that we want to connect. The first step is to insert one of the ends of both pipes into the coupling. Siguraduhin lamang na sumagad sa stopper sa gitna ng coupling ang dulo ng pipes na idudugtong natin. This is to ensure na maganda ang magiging kapit ng coupling sa EMT pipes. Once we inserted the EMT pipes, we will now fasten the screws to hold the pipes in place. There, we have connected two pipes using the set screw type coupling. Now, for the compression type, we will do the same process. We will insert one of the ends of both pipes into the coupling. But instead of fastening screws, we will rotate the ends of the compression coupling to a compressing direction in order to hold or grip the EMT pipes in place. Just a simple reminder, all these screw and compression connections have proper torque requirement. There, we have connected two pipes using EMT coupling. One is using the set screw type and the other one is using the compression type. Now, let's try the EMT connectors. EMT connectors are used to connect EMT pipes to a different device like utility boxes, enclosures, or conduit bodies. Again, there are two types of this. One is the screw type, and the other one is the compression type. We can observe that these connectors have two ends. One is dedicated for the EMT pipe, and the other one with thread is for the connection of the connector to the utility boxes or other type of devices. So, umpisahan po nating subukan sa set screw type connectors. We have here an EMT pipe that we want to connect to a utility box. First, we will insert the EMT pipe into the connector. We will then secure the pipe in place by fastening the screws. Next, we will remove the lock nut on the threaded end and insert it to the knockout hole of the utility box. Just a simple reminder, be sure to coordinate all the sizes of the devices you are working with. Ibig sabihin, kapag 1 half or 3 fourth inch ang tubo, use a connector that is also for 3 fourth inch and it goes the same with the size of the knockout hole on the utility box. We will then use the lock nut to secure the connection between the utility box and the EMT connector. On some instances, an electrician will add a bushing on the end of the threaded part of the connector to protect wires during pulling. And there, we have connected an EMT pipe to a utility box using a set screw type connector. We will now try the EMT compression connector. Again, we will insert the pipe into the connector. But instead of fastening screws, we will rotate the end of the connector to compress or hold the pipe in place. All the rest will be the same with the set screw type connector. We will remove the lock nut on the threaded end and insert it to the knockout hole of the utility box. Then, we will use the lock nut to secure the connection between the utility box and the EMT connector. So, we have connected an EMT pipe to a utility box. One using a set screw type and another one using a compression type. Now, there are instances that an FMC or flexible metal conduit is connected to an EMT pipe. In this case, 
we will use a different type of connector and we call it ETF. ETF, short term for EMT to FMC connection. So let's try it. One end of the ETF is dedicated for EMT pipes. So we will insert the EMT pipe here. On the other side, we will insert our FMC. Both EMT and FMC are held in place by fastening the screws of the connector. There we have connected an FMC to an EMT pipe using ETF connector. So these are the different EMT fittings and how are they being used in the construction industry. To know more about our products, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See ya!